Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Woodmere Estate Revival. We're back outside today, the sun is shining, the birds are singing, the frogs are chirping in the pool. It's a good day. We're going to get some more work done on the patio today, cut down some trees, haul some brush, rip up some ivy, try to reveal as much brick as possible, get an idea what condition the pavers are in, and also look for any other uh, signs of drainage. We're looking for any sorts of drains, French drains, uh, grates in the patio itself, any sort of clue as far as uh, what was done originally to try to get this back patio area draining. So we're going to be tearing up some stuff today. Amber is here and uh, my dad's going to be here shortly. We're going to get to work here, hang out with us today and uh, see what we can get accomplished. So here's where we're starting. Uh, yesterday we got some brush cut back, we got some briars and stuff cut down, we got pots of all shapes and sizes loaded up in the dumpster. But as you can see, there's just a ton of stuff, uh, debris that's just grown out on here. So I've got uh, my steel power tools with me today, chainsaw, brush cutter, uh, hedge clippers. And we're gonna go through here and cut all this stuff back and really daylight this place. Pull all this stuff back off the brick. I mean, some of it is just mud and dirt. We're gonna have to shovel it. There's old wiring and stuff running along the base of the wall. I mean, it's hard telling what we're gonna run into, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get busy here. Start pulling some of this stuff up and uh, see what we can uncover. It really does extend all the way out here to the driveway. Again, you wouldn't know it, but uh, it was a beautiful brick patio, hand laid brick patio at one point. But uh, unfortunately, the uh, previous owners let the forest really just come back in and, and take over the place. So you've got years of mud and debris and decayed leaves and brush and briars and moss and ivy and you name it on top of it so let's see what we can get uncovered here <laughs> use the string trimmer to go through and chop the vines and everything to bits and just obliterated everything and stirred it up into a nice muddy mess but the nice thing is at this point uh, it's loose enough that we're actually able to rake it back and then uh, use a grain scoop and shovel it up and dump it in by the wheelbarrow yeah just took a load over the hill how you going dad great thanks, thanks. For working inside yeah better than fighting flooring for a while that's right appreciate your help but uh, this is a nice mess here but the patio really looks good underneath. Most of the brick seemed to be intact. So if we do have to pull it up, I think we'll probably try to go in uh, carefully and you know get underneath them all and lift them up and, and stack them up and hopefully we'll be able to reuse them all. So we'll see what happens once we get uh, the rest of this uncovered. Yeah, I like that wiring job. Got a new uh, got a new wire you gotta run to the pool house. What do you do? You just string it along the patio, right? Nothing says electrocution like wire strung through the woods. Making progress. Got, uh, oh, I don't know, about a third of the patio in behind the house uncovered. Looks like it's in pretty good shape so far. If it wasn't for the vines, it'd be a lot easier to shovel them. Wouldn't you say, crew? <laughs> it's kind of hard. 
Guys are doing good work. Boys are keeping themselves entertained by checking out the frogs in the pool. Say hi, boys. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, this one. That's great. Yeah. Don't join at the pool. Okay. Got the whole crew here now. Reed's got a rake. Grant's got a pitchfork. I'm going to hunt the... I'm going to go hunting. Good work. Can I hunt Frankenstein? No. Oh, He's nice. Bird's really shaping up pretty good. A couple of good rains. Good job, Grant. Be careful with that thing. Yeah, Sharp. Boy. You guys made a lot of progress. What? I said you made a lot of progress. We have. Almost done. 23 wheelbarrow loads of vines and muck later. A lot of the brick looks pretty good. So we maybe got to peel it all up and stack it up. And if we play some of them that are uh, falling or crack. A lot of them appear to be in pretty good shape. Looks so much better back here already. It's amazing what you can do with a, a rake and a shovel after 20 years of neglect. So in the process of uh, cleaning off all the pavers and everything, we've uncovered some of the weep holes for the wall. So it looks like that uh, along the base of the wall, periodically, there's a hole back underneath here. And um, as we dug these out, we've been kind of ramming a pole or a stick up in there, trying to get the uh, passageway cleaned out. And it's amazing how much water was laying in behind this wall. So probably a good bit of pressure pushing against the wall. If you don't uh, relieve that pressure, then obviously uh, over time, it can uh, you know displace the wall which is a bad thing. So, we've got a lot of water coming out of here right now, but hopefully over time we can, uh, again, kind of reroute that water into a drain when we uh, redo the patio back here. But in the meantime, we're letting it roll. So I've been trying to get these drains sorted out behind the house here, and there's a drain box right here next to the patio and right off the edge of the driveway and so a few minutes ago I pried the lid off and took the shovel and started cleaning it out and took out almost a wheelbarrow load of mud out of that thing so that thing was almost completely packed full of mud and there's a pipe that comes in on this side and one that goes in on this side and I think based on water running out of this side this is uh, going back towards the hill I think that that's uh, either a drain in front of the wall or behind the wall, picking up uh, runoff. And then it was supposed to drain out this way, which makes sense because there was a downspout drain that came down here and it teed in. And so I think it probably ran across the driveway and 
down the hill over there. So at any rate, it was it was so full of mud and muck that the uh, the water was having a hard time getting in, and it definitely wasn't going out like it's supposed to. So the more we uncover here, the more we're understanding about how the drainage system works, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to get some of this water taken care of. Well, there you have it, folks. Another big day of cleanup down here at the house. Uh, we got a lot done in a relatively short period of time, thanks to uh, Amber and the boys and my dad. Everybody pitched in this afternoon to help. Uh, we got the patio cleared off behind the house and behind the garage, so all the brick is now exposed. Uh, we're going to have to go back through when it dries out just a little bit and broom off the last of the mud and eventually come back through and maybe pressure wash it just to give us even a little better look at everything. But uh, pleasantly surprised with the condition of the brick. We were expecting to see a lot of cracked bricks, a lot of spalling, but uh, thankfully a lot of them are still in good shape. Now, I don't know if they're still going to be in good shape after we pry them all up and, and cart them off, but uh, we'll see. Uh, we did figure out a couple of things on the drainage issue. There are some weep holes under the wall that were plugged up and covered up, and those are running now, so I imagine we had some water trapped behind the wall. That's not really helping the uh, issue of settlement and, and water against the house, but at least that's taking care of the wall, making sure there's not excess water pressure pushing on it. Also cleaned out a drain box and uh, got some water running through that. So very productive afternoon, and we're, we're pleased with how things look. Uh, the retaining wall itself is in great shape. Looks like the sandstone, the mortar joints, everything is in uh, really good shape. Once we got the ivy knocked off of it and got a clear look at it, it does appear like it's uh, it's in really good shape and it's not going to need any repair or replacement. So that's a blessing. Let me show you where we're finishing up here for the afternoon. So here's where the brick patio starts, right here at the edge of the driveway. And again, we still got some final cleanup to do here, mud and, and uh, vines and stuff still. But uh, the patio itself is pretty well exposed. We were just kind of shoving mud around here, so we weren't able to get all this uh, cleared up right now. But um, you can see that the brick is exposed across the whole uh, section here behind the garage. And really, for the most part, uh, they appear to be in good shape. You know, So we'll find out more once we get them washed up. But for the most part, uh, they appear to be whole and uh, not a whole lot of cracking or spalling. And now let's peer over the, uh, the gate here, and you can get an idea of what the patio behind the rest of the house looks like. So it's, uh, again, pretty good shape overall. Very uneven, so I don't know what their uh, what their base material was, sand or crushed granite or what they used back then, uh, dirt. <laughs> so it's uh, it's hard to tell, but uh, it has settled in places, and as you can see, uh, it's pretty uneven. So even though the bricks are in good shape, we're still going to have to pull them. So hopefully we'll have enough left over that we can go in and patch the bad ones. But it does look like we're going to have to go ahead and uh, pull the entire patio up. And we're definitely going to look at waterproofing the foundation and replacing the foundation drain while we're at it, just to make sure that we got all the water away from the house. When we put it back down, we'll definitely regrade it. Right now, the patio is too high, so we're going to have to uh, knock the dirt down and go ahead and regrade away from the house so any runoff uh, goes away from the house instead of towards it, and then drop the level of the patio so that you no longer have uh, the patio higher than the foundation wall itself, which could uh, push water onto your plate and uh, banjoist and cause rotten and other issues. So big afternoon here, lots of progress made. Thanks for hanging out with us and taking a look at some of the work here at Woodmere Estate. Uh, we're very pleased with where we're at. Also very pleased that the weather's been warmer so we can actually get outside and, and get some of this work done. What's on tap next? Well, we'll do, do some more cleanup around uh, the back of the house here. Then we're going to move to the pool. We've got a number of trees that have to be cut down around the pool, and the brick is pretty much in the same shape there. We've got a lot of dirt, a lot of vines, a lot of leaf matter, everything just spread all over it. So it's going to be a big project, big cleanup. My brother's supposed to come back in town again very soon, so we're going to put him to use. He'll bring his steel saw, and uh, we'll lay waste to the trees, get those things down and, and away from the, uh, from the pool there so we can begin to work on the pool. So that's probably next on tap. Also, uh, got to finish up the flooring in the uh, family room and kitchen area. So I'm going to continue to work on that probably nights uh, this week. I'll be down here at the house working on that an hour here and an hour there, uh, trying to get the rest of that knocked out as well. So lots more action to come. Thanks for hanging out today. Uh, please be sure to 
uh, subscribe if you haven't already. That way you don't miss a single update from Woodmere State. And uh, keep, keep hanging out with us. It's going to be a big project and a fun project. Things are going to start changing pretty quickly here now that we're going to get our subcontractors on site and start putting this house back together, start uh, really seeing some progress. So looking forward to that. Looking forward to the weather continuing to improve. And uh, thanks again for hanging out with us today.